What's going on guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS bringing you a brand new, actually bringing you guys a brand new 10v11 uh, strategy attack video uh, where the Town Hall 10s are hitting up trying to two star the Town Hall 11s. A very, very popular strategy in the elite war scene, the elite war community. And who better to learn this from than some of the best? Right now, I'm inside of Forbidden. Uh, just to give you guys a quick background of what this war is, this is the Week 10 CWL Premier Forbidden versus War Addicts uh, matchup. And Forbidden went 4 for 7 on their 10v11s. It turned out uh, that the number 2... And the number four base, I don't know what happened on the War Addict side, but it's the exact same base. But what I'm going to be highlighting in this video is the attacks on bases number one, number two, and number three. Uh, like I said, base two and four happen to be the exact same base, uh, but number two was the base that they hit first and only took two hits. So the first base, I'll go and show you guys real quick, uh, on the defenses, look at this right here. Uh, one uh, only they got number one fresh. I'm gonna show you guys that first. Number two took two tries, and number three only taking three tries to get it down. For those of you that know that are a part of uh, you know the competitive leagues, uh, the competitive war scene, everybody knows how difficult 10 v 11 has become since the last couple updates where the Town Hall 11's got new uh, defense levels uh, to quite a few of the defenses. So again, we're going to be highlighting 10 v 11. Uh, so we'll go ahead and check out number one first. Like I said, this attack right here on this base, uh, they got this down fresh, something that is damn near, or what seems to be damn near impossible at this stage in the game. Like I said, who better to learn it from than some of the best? Uh, Forbidden has struggled the last couple weeks uh, with 10v11, but to start off the season and all throughout and leading up to week 10, they have completely been smashing uh, 10v11. And one thing we're seeing is Valkyries. Uh, the first attack we're going to look at, pause it real quick, is a bowler smash. We're going to show you guys how they go ahead and funnel this base, how the spell drop placements are, and how they use their heroes. Remember, to not only get percentage, but to take down that town hall right there, right in the middle, how they go about doing that. And the other two attacks is highlighting Valkyries and how effective Valkyries have become in the meta uh, at the 10v11 stage. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and hit play. We're gonna break down this attack. Like I said, uh, very, I mean, this is just as hard, if not harder, than doing a 10v10 uh, triple fresh. So they're gonna be doing this uh, 10v11, getting it the first try, starting off up at 12 o'clock with what we would just call just a simple uh, bowler smash, just a golem bowler uh, funnel, again, when you're creating the funnel, you're also getting that percentage, trying to funnel the entire top section of the base as they do want to enter right where, basically where the Grand Warden is. So he's already gotten 14%, also pulled the Clan Castle as well. Uh, had a nice scout, he, that Archer right there is out of range of that Archer Tower. Goes ahead and gets a nice CC pull, goes ahead and drops down a Poison as well as it did have a witch and a baby dragon it, uh, bringing his own baby dragon solely to take out that CC and also to pick up some percentage as well uh, as that elixir collector uh, was already damaged, you know, by that archer tower and gets it, or that archer gets it down just in time. Any percentage counts uh, at the 10 v 11 stage. Uh, one building, that's gonna give you 1%. Okay, doing the same thing over at nine o'clock, uh, dropping down a golem, uh, same thing, also bringing wall breakers to pop uh, that section. Uh, just doing another simple golem bowler kill squad to create a funnel, grab that percentage, brings another golem, bringing three golems in total, Another golem jumping right into where that eagle, uh, the eagle artillery compartment is. Nice three finger drop on those bowlers. He's going to go ahead and rage everything up as he is engaging both enemy heroes at the same time. 
uh, second jump right over the clan castle to push everything in to right to where that town hall is. Uh, and you see the queen still at full health, still has her ability as well. Uh, already going to be at 48%. So you know this is looking very, very good as the golem is still tanking for her as well. She's going to go ahead and take out that archer tower. And you see right here already at 50%. Uh, takes out that Inferno Tower and is only taking damage uh, from that one cannon. Went ahead and popped the ability. Uh, takes out the Elixir Collector right there. And the Bowlers already took out uh, a lot of the HP on that Town Hall. Gets it down just in time. Uh, gets a couple shots on the 80. Could not get it down. But ended this attack fresh with a solid 55%. Uh, Bowler Smash is still very, very strong and very, very, uh, thank you, uh, Potty Mouth for the Bowlers. It's still a very, very powerful attack at the meta that we're in right now at 10 v 11. So this base right here, go ahead and hit replay. Uh, this is going to be Danny, I believe that's Mate, uh, Danny Mate going to be doing this, uh, with a Golem Bowler Kill Squad bringing Valkyries, basically doing a Valkyrie dive to get that Town Hall once the funnel set. And he's going to be doing a Queen Walk as well. Very, very strong attack on the right base layouts. And again, this was the same base as number four, uh, but this is the base that they got down first. Uh, this is technically the cleanup. Has a nice uh, archer right there on that uh, uh, dark barracks. Dropping down, that Tesla did pop, dropping down just a few loons with a haste to go ahead and take that Tesla out. And you'll see right here, he does have one bowler uh, inside that haste spell. And you see that bowler bounce took out that builder hut. Again, any percentage that you can get. And the bowler bounce is also going to take out that gold storage. So getting two buildings for one bowler. You can see the queen walk starting over here uh, at about 3.30, gonna be walking down. Uh, here comes the Golem Bowler Kill Squad, uh, going to be wall breaking in by that Elixir Collector. And you're going to see the, the Golem and the Bowlers and the Queen Walk, or which is going to kind of turn into a Queen Charge, kind of working hand in hand with each other. So bring a going very, very spell heavy right here as he does want to get this entire section of the base cleared out. So those Valkyries have nowhere to go but inside that Town Hall compartment. You can see uh, the bowlers clearly working in conjunction with that queen. Uh, did bring a poison to take out that enemy loon. And you see that queen is only taking damage from that expo. So she is still, uh, you know, staying. Uh, she does still have her health and still has the ability as well. And you'll see he pops the ability just in time as the hound was about to pop. Uh, goes in and drops down another rage to keep her alive. Has a nice jump spell down. And you'll see the queen ends up taking that jump spell and grabbing that town hall uh, as she just took out all of the pups. And you'll see right here, so on this one, he's basically using those Valkyries all 4%. And she does have them on the top of the base up there, just trimming all this trash. If the queen ended up walking around, since he did wall break that bottom section, he could have very easily sent in those Valks uh, to take out that town hall. Uh, but since those bowler, that bowler kill squad created such a tight funnel, uh, the queen ends up taking the jump, taking out the town hall, and use those nine Valkyries to pick up percent, ending at a very solid 54%. Uh, so very, very nice hit uh, by Danny Mate there. And same guy taking out number three. So we have Danny Mate getting a 10v11 four pack. Like I said, who better to learn from the best as pretty much every clan. I mean, even in invite, clan struggling left and right uh, with 10v11. Uh, same thing starting off up at 12 o'clock. Uh, just dropping down a few loons with a haste to, to take out that archer tower. So for something very, very cheap, going to get a lot of percentage uh, just using minions. Because you can see there's no other air targeting defenses up there. Uh, so definitely something to take note of when you guys are scouting these Town Hall 11s. And you see this one, the Town Hall is clearly offset trying to bait uh, for you to come in from that side. Uh, to get that town hall, but that's often where you fall short of percentage. Uh, we are seeing uh, these offset town hall 11s are becoming a lot more common. Uh, nice scout, just with a couple archers, going to be taking out uh, that elixir storage over there at 9 o'clock on the far left-hand side of the base. And he's bringing two golems, does have six camp bowlers. 
Uh, and he does have his queen behind this golem, basically doing a naked queen walk, again, to set the funnel. And uh, again, when you're setting the funnel, because it is a percentage game, you're grabbing that percent when you're taking out this trash. Uh, Going to be doing the mini golem bowler kill squad over at 9 o'clock up there. Just dropping down one golem. Uh, six bowlers and a rage is is very, very popular at the, at, the, at the 10 v 11 game right now. So just creates a very, very nice tight funnel. He's already at 35% right now. I uh, did pop his queen ability down there uh, just to get through a few more buildings. So you'll see right here, this is where he's going to be doing his Valk dive where he does have a heal and a jump and a rage leading right into the town hall notice he didn't bring the heal spell inside of the core because with those two inferno towers surrounding the town hall a heal spell will do absolutely nothing as that is a, a, a grand total of 10 inferno tower beams uh so nice uh spell placement on that entry grabbing the town hall and this is all extra just using his king didn't even use uh the king with the valkyries a lot of people always think well, you know, it's just natural. You're going to be sending in your king with these kill squads with the Valkyries. Notice that Danny, mate, again, getting a, a 10v11 four pack, this war against war addicts. Notice that he held onto his king after he got the percentage, only used the king just to get percentage and, no, and nothing else uh, did not send in uh, his king with the Valkyries. Something to pay uh, close attention to when you guys are scouting uh, these 10 uh, v 11 hits. Uh, but this war looking very, very solid for, for war addicts. They also have, I believe, four if not five 10v10 triples. Again, they went a uh, grand total of... Uh, they cleared four Town Hall 11s, only using uh, a grand total of seven hits. That's hitting way above the league average. Definitely wanted to come and check out what is in the water over here in Forbidden, as they're looking very solid. And another thing, it all comes down to strategy. When you're not eating up all your Town Hall 10 hits, trying to double these Town Hall 11s, it frees up things like 10v10 and Forbidden clearly taking, a, uh, taking an advantage uh, by getting those Town Hall 11s down and opening up more 10v10 opportunities. And that's exactly what they got. Again, I believe they got five 10v10s this war uh, against War Addicts. Definitely stay tuned. I will have the league uh, recap out for you guys in a few days once this, uh, once this video goes live. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, learning from the best 10v11, one of the most difficult things to do uh, in the game right now in the competitive war scene. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and that's pretty much going to do it uh, for this video. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe if you have not already. And again, hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, this is Riggs from Clashing FFS and I'll see you in the very next video.